Hi, I'm OZ Hall. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Pitch Perfect One, the PP1 by Behringer, which is an audio pitch to voltage converter. The first demo is controlling a synthesizer with your voice. So let's take a look at the front panel controls of the Pitch Perfect, the PP1. In the last example, we had my voice controlling the synthesizer that was up here in the cabinet. And so we had the microphone plugged into this combo input that will accept both XLR and quarter inch inputs. We had the impedance set to high Z off that is low impedance because this is a low impedance input. If we had a guitar or bass guitar, we'd have this impedance switch set to high Z. We had the low cut on because we could get a lot of bumps and low frequency material from the microphone that was 75 hertz or below that we just don't need for pitch detection. We had the pitch bend in the bottom position set to off so that it would quantize my voice pitch in semitones. With the microphone, we had to use the preamp, so we adjusted the gain appropriately so that at my loudest points, we would be at the yellow level. It's red, yellow, green, green for these LEDs when they operate as a level meter. And that happens when the bend is in the down position. The gate is a really sensitive parameter. If you've got it too high, it won't trigger a pitch detection. If you've got it too low, it will trigger pitch detections all the time and it'll just be random and awful. So you've got to test that and get it in the middle between that low point where it detects it all the time and the high point where it won't detect it at all. And I'll show you more of that in the video coming up. The line out we're using and mixing with the synthesizer so that you can hear my voice as well as the synthesizer. And we're using control voltage and gate to control the internal synthesizer that's up here. We could have used either USB MIDI or 5-pin DIN MIDI to control an external synthesizer. For the next example, we're going to plug in a bass guitar and let that bass guitar control the internal synthesizer.
wanted to add a few more details before I go to the conclusion. First, if you're using a guitar, your quarter inch connector would go right there. Second, if you wanted to use this unit as a MIDI to CV gate converter, you would use the USB connector, connect that to your DAW, and then you could drive whatever synthesizer was connected to the CV gate. The pitch bend I didn't talk a lot about, but if you have it in the middle position, it's going to allow you to bend, for instance, a guitar string up to a semitone. And when it gets to that semitone, then any other bends after that will jump by a semitone. In the top position, it will bend a whole tone. In conclusion, there are a lot of features here. The input level and the gate threshold are both sensitive adjustments. Also, it's absolutely critical that you only feed a single pitch into this device. If you're playing guitar, you've got to be playing just a single string or you've got to be really precise about playing only one pitch at a time. Otherwise, it just won't work correctly. Also, I find that the preamp is actually very handy. It's something that's completely missing, for instance, in the System 55, so it would be very helpful to have this unit as part of the System 55 because you can take external audio and it's got all of these controls to tailor the response of the unit to whatever your audio input is. Uh, the final thing is that the price is definitely right on this unit. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. If you're still watching, thank you so much. Consider liking and subscribing.